Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 2. Last episode, we went through the rest of the archives and managed to not only find out where the portal that we're supposed to find is located, but we also managed to find two wizards who had formerly lived in the, uh, had formerly lived up in there and got trapped. Yes, thank you. Now, however, we also have found out where the uh, portal that is supposed to take everyone, that is supposed to take loads of Empire troops down from the surface, happens to be located. We'll tell the person who wanted to know about where it is, and also I want to turn in all the Empire records that we happen to grab from there. We don't need the coin, and I don't think we get any experience, but I have a feeling that, well, It'll be a good thing. They'll want to know. There might be something useful in those records for all we know. Alright. Turn in the records first. A simple task. Run down here. Run in here. Why do you always hide behind the counter? Come here. Take him. There. Oh, we got a little bit of experience. That's nice. Alright. Now, now that I think about it... Yeah, what the hell. Let's attempt to defeat eight huge brawny wrestlers again. I remember it. Let's see what happens. Nope, not enough. Lost a hundred coins, but it's no big deal. wonder how strong you have to be to beat them. Hmm. Ah, uh, no biggie. And now, the Tower of Magi. It was Madavi, Madavi, I believe, who wanted to know. No, I don't want to attack them. I don't care about them. Not about weak little minions that I can kill with ease. Alright, Tower of Magi. Let's see, Madavi, I believe, was down there. Let's see. Yep, Madavi. Um, what should we do next to destroy the portal? You discuss the problems. We know where the teleporter is and how to destroy it. All that remains is the deed. A small dedicated group is, at this point, our only hope. If you do attempt it, good luck. Okay, simple enough. Destroy the Empire Portal. I think we would be able to do that. But I just want to explore out in that area first. Before we destroy the portal, we'll explore the rest of the area around there. I mean, why not? Let me just get back over to the northern islands. Again, a bit of a run. One of the most annoying parts of Avernum, the constant running great distances just to get anywhere. But it's fine. Oh boy. We'll explore everywhere we can. Before we destroy the portal, we might get the second, uh... Oop, wrong way. We might go for the second Crystal Soul. Or we might just go for the portal, I don't know. For now, we're just going to explore. That's too far. Over this way, up here, and leave it in this little nook. A patrol of Empire soldiers have sighted you. They immediately recognize you as all Avernites. Halt! Worms are forbidden in this area. Surrender to us immediately or be slain. We'll not surrender. You answer the demand for surrender by drawing your weapons. Two mages, five archers, and twelve soldiers. Oh, enough of that. Here. Taste fire. That works. Alright, and lightning spray...
Oh, all the archers are dead. <laughs> and now they're all gonna die. Way too easy. Alright. Now, moving back. Yes, yes, thank you, go away. Try to pass, thank you, bye. Actually, give a quick heal to Rex, thank you. And now we can swim through here. And let's see what's on the west side of this place. Ah, oh, there's that dock. Your knowledge of cave lore makes itself very useful. You notice a small patch of mandrake, an extremely rare potion ingredient. There isn't much here, but there's enough for a potion or two. Okay, we'll take that. Wait, what is Rex carrying that has too much? Why do you have mandrake? Oh, I guess there were two of them. Okay. Ooh, more drakes. Interesting. Well, we can kill these drakes. You stumble across a colony of drakes. They hunt these remote islands, living poor existences and keeping out of the way of the violent humans and their constant wars. That doesn't change the fact, however, that they are nasty and rapacious creatures. When they get a chance for a good hearty meal of meat, they don't back away. Four drakes! Oh, that one's right there. Of course they're slow. Why am I not surprised they're slow? Lots of slow! And haste! Counters the slow. Very useful. Ow. Another bless. Not who I really wanted to bless. And a fireball. That one's dead. That one's dead. Could do with a bit of healing. More than a bit, I think. Yeah, that one's gonna die. And the slow again. Okay, we can kill this. Yeah, we got this. Fireball. And it's dead. Drakes are kin to dragons, and they share their greedy and rapacious attitudes. That is why it is surprising how poor these drakes were. You search well, but you find no lair and no wealth. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. Couple dead drakes. No huge deal. Interesting. There must be a secret passage to get to that. Random island with nothing on it, it seems. Okay. Uh, that might be where the portal is. This large obelisk has a dark gray rectangle printed on it. I guess that's the way we're supposed to go. And there's ice drakes on that island. Very interesting. Alright, let's see these. Hello, drakes. Same thing. Except these are ice instead of fire. Oh. Sanctuary. Really, they cast Sanctuary. That's interesting. Doesn't look like it was enough. Besides, we have fireballs. We can burn them down. Ow. That one's dead. Bless for Rex. And more group healing. Eh, fireball that Drake. Really? The greater Shade. You really think that was gonna do anything? Really, you're horribly outnumbered, and we de and we decimated the others of you. Oh, as you search, though, you notice that one of the drakes has a pitch black tooth. 
You've heard of black drake teeth. They are powerful magical reagents useful for the making of certain potions. You pull the tooth out. That's the second of the black teeth. Question is, who are we going to give them to? Okay, what's back here? You find the shattered ruins of a tower. It was quite small. Not many people lived here. Whoever attacked this place wasn't satisfied with merely entering or destroying it. They razed it to the ground. That must be the tower that those two mages came from. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. Pro you approach the watchtower from land. There are several humanoid figures there waiting for you. You can climb up the tower to them, but you'll be under fire much of the way. Let's see what happens if we try to speed through. You press on. There is a flash of light from the tower. A bolt of fire arcs through the air and strikes your boat. You row back quickly while struggling to extinguish the flames. As long as the tower is there, you won't be able to get through the channel. Okay, then. Take out the tower. Easy enough. You run up the hill as quickly as you can. As you charge up the rough ground, the defenders throw spells down at you. By the time you reach them, you've been struck repeatedly. Rakshasa? Oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to reload because we need to prepare much better than this. Right, Rakshasa, great. Just freaking great. And you can't really cast very much here. Alright, attack. And we are slowed. How did we get slowed right at the start? That's not fair! That is very not fair. That is extremely not fair. Okay, we can kill these bladesmen easily enough. That gets the healing done. Yeah, the wizard is immune. And there's the slow again. Really? Arcane shield? My god! Four freaking demons! That is ridiculous. Oh, right, that one's covered by a divine shield. Freaking hell. Uh. Can you reach all of the demons? You can. No idea if it works on the rickshaw. It does not. Do it again. Five demons. Five... Six demons. Someone tell me how this is fair. I mean six freaking demons. This is not fair in any way. No, you need to do healing. You need to. We're gonna die here! Okay, I'm gonna reload again. Seven frick I hate those Rakshasa <sighs> And the fact we lose all our speed right at the start is absolutely ridiculous. Can't use well outdoors. Okay, attack. Hey, 
Hey! We lucked out! We managed to counter that a bit! Okay. Divine fire, I suppose. And lightning spray. Doesn't hurt the mages. Okay. We lucked out a bit. Looks like that guy's a bit weaker. Okay, he summoned a demon. You focus fireballs on the wizard. You can at least hurt him with those. Okay, we got this now. We lucked out, and that's how we got this. That's all. There we go. Okay. Grab that healing elixir. I don't think we need anything else from here. Okay. Good. Now I see another tower there. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Leah, Beast Ceremony. If you reach the second watchtower, it's been recently vacated. The defenders here must have realized you were coming and moved to safety. Or worse, to alert the Empire forces in the area. Okay, fine, I'll take it. I will take that. You maneuver your boat carefully past the second watchtower. It's currently unguarded, fortunately, so you were able to pass it safely. You row your craft very deep into Empire territory. There will be no friendly faces or restful outposts here. Anyone you meet is likely to want to kill you instantly. Well, down here it... Oh, great, those things. That's probably where the, where the uh, path is. Again, you find a section of river blocked by long, sharp, jagged stones. Unfortunately, this time you see no way to move them. You'll have to head back. Well, okay, then. And that passage is probably where the secret path is. Looks like there's something over here, though. Let's take a look. This cavern is choked with hills, debris, and thousands upon thousands of stalagmites. There are multitudes of giant lizards wandering among the mess, some green, some red, and some enormous. They don't seem interested in you at the moment. Also, there's a hidden passage here for no reason. Well, let's see. Can we... Most of the lizards in here ignore you. Some are not so wise. A band of lizards works up its courage enough to try and eat you. Okay, then. And again, I apologize for the sounds outside. Mutant lizards and a drake. Oh, bloody hell. Why do people have to be so loud and annoying outside? I really do apologize. Hold on, please. Clearly, I am the most professional of Let's Players. All hail me. Uh, and here comes all the lizards! Drake's gonna be the problem if he catches slow. Looks like all he's doing is casting a haste spell. Which is not as big a deal. Well, one of them died. And now... Yeah, what the hell? No, no, lightning spray, I think it'll work fine. Wow, surprised he's still alive. That's impressive. Oh boy, he's almost dead. I should have healed him. Okay, take two. Attack again. Ooh, we can actually... That works. Fifteen mutant lizards now. Oh, we can do a lot of damage to that guy now. Right at the start. And cast it again. And... Fire Blast. There we go. 
Now we got this. I think we're fine. We don't need to cast too many more spells now. Yeah, kind of weaken them all. And a fireball. Yeah, we got this. We got this easily. Not what I meant. And there we go. Now let's keep looking through here. Uh, more try to eat me. Five ice drakes and six ice lizards. This could suck a bit. They charmed Rex! Haste, please. Okay, healing, please. And I think a bless will work. And let's see. Fire blast. How many of them can you hit? Okay, take two steps forward. And now you should be able to hit all of them. That hurt. Control foes! This is painful. Right. Remove the control on both of them. Okay, and I think a lightning spray will finish those off. There we go. Can't rest. No worries. Mass healing, mass healing, mass healing, and let's move on. Alright, let's see. And more! Nine mutant lizards and a drake. This one isn't as bad. Just the drake to worry about. And the fire blast I think will work. And there's the slow I knew was gonna come. Yeah, that one's dead. And fireball him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that Drake's dead. Okay. You find a shrine at the end of this cavern. It is built from huge blocks of stone, worn and cracked by the passage of many years. You notice that the lizards seem to be avoiding the shrine. Enter and search. Once inside the shrine, you move past several crude square stone pillars and find a huge granite dais. There is an ancient worn statue on the platform. It is a twenty-foot tall slith. The decades, probably centuries, have erased most of the details from the statue, but it is still quite recognizable. You move closer and notice something reflecting the light at its feet. After a moment of brushing away dust and mold, you find out what the shining thing is. It's a two-time slith spear forged from fine steel, in beautiful condition despite the years of neglect. Hmm. It's a pity to let such a fine weapon rot away. Let me save before we take it. Alright, let's see what happens. Take it. When you grab the spear, nothing happens at first. When you reach the entrance to the shrine, however, you see that the lizards have gathered around it, staring at you with emotionless eyes. Several glowing humanoid figures stand with them. They attack. Seven slith avatars and twelve fire lizards. What kind of spear is it? Unidentified! This is going to suck. Maybe not as much as I thought. 
mean, Rex and Gary can hold back that. Yeah, this might not suck as much as I thought. Just so long as Talia keeps up on the healing. Yeah, as long as Talia keeps up on the healing, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. And heal again. And... You know what? Arcane Summon. A demon to help. That'll work. <laughs> yes, attack the demon with your flames. It'll be completely useful. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Alright. Bless Gary. And don't do anything else. A lightning spray I think will work. Another one. Okay, we got this. Thank you, O Demon. Very useful. Okay, Rex is gonna need to be healed. Leah can't really cast any more spells, unfortunately. Okay, healing, and another healing. You can cast one fireball. Finish off one of those. Thank you! That demon was a good choice. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead. <laughs> You're a little late with the slow, but I'll take it. And there we go. Alright. Now we could keep exploring, but the episode's just about over, and I want to find out just what this actually was. So I'm going to go get this spear identified, find out if it's really that useful. Also, we can stop the boat there, which is nice. Alright, um, where can we get it identified? Where can we get it identified? It's got to be somewhere. You know what, I think I know one place that's relatively close. Don't think anyone identifies anything in Fort Dranlon, but I think... I think there's someone to the east here in... No, I don't need to know spells. I think there's someone who will identify in here, in Fort Dovno. A supply store... Fletcher... Fletcher would actually be useful. There we go! You. Can you identify things for me? Bloodthirst Spear! Extra damage to humans! 2 to 36 plus 4... 2 to 36! That's 10 more damage than Giant Slayer! Oh, and we can learn... Energy Elixir! Okay! Can we make the energy elixir, I wonder? We can. Healing, energetic, and mandrake. And what do we have? Healing, mandrake we have plenty of, energetic we have almost nothing. That's the one that keeps catching us, god damn it. But yes, we are going to take bloodthirst. What about all these other items we have? We got the Icy Longsword and Flaming Sword. We can keep those. Blessed Greatsword can be sold. Ghoulbane and Giant Slayer, I think I can sell both of those now that I think about it. And I shall. I'd like to trade with you. Blessed Greatsword sell, and sell Ghoulbane and Giant Slayer. I don't need either of them. Nothing we need from her. Okay. And next episode, we'll take a look at a little more of that area up uh, up in there. 
because it looked like there was one other place that we could look at, and I am curious. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I am Trustic44, that is Rex, Gary, Tali, and Leah. This has been an Avernum 2 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.